good kitten internet. Back where we left off. Also, Lady Harkin above me. He's probably the best character design of any of the Quarter Knights in my mind. I mean, Zed's is pretty awesome, but Zed's not a Quarter Knight. Um, also, had to move my Wild Arms logo because, well, it doesn't look right on a white background. So, it's turning Aya over here. Alright, so, we are going to go after lots of things. This is an endgame location, by the way. Um, as you can tell, it's kind of hard to get there. There's no beach around it on the outside at all. And on the inside is low-level water. Yeah, you're not getting there anytime soon. Hammertail and a Summerell. Down somewhere. Mail has revive fruit. We'll be able to buy that soon enough, but we can't at the moment. And a somewhere else. Also has revive fruit. Let me guess, both of these have instant death. Well, I'm not gonna worry too much about it because, like I said, we're not too far away from being able to just get it ourselves. Let's have Rudy. Oh, you have a Masenka equipped. Well, that's a problem. I should have realized I would have equipped anything else. Uh, let's go back to Thunder Ring. So you're going to attempt to use your ability. You're going to, I don't know, attack, attack. Nope, that's a normal attack. lot of damage. Wish I would have had a second Thunder Ring. That would have made sense. Just out of curiosity. And that's good. Gotta love my weird headphone positioning. All right, so the arena should be over here somewhere. There's a lot of things that we could be doing. I am wanting to do the arena first. Oh, my housemate's back. one that says about the arena. South of here is the Isle of Conflict. It's actually over here, maybe? I'm just gonna start exploring. The Isle of Conflict is what I'm actually looking for. Because we are high enough level to do it now. Facebook. If you couldn't tell from the fact that I'm wearing the same Vaporeon shirt. Oh. Um, the same day as the previous video. I am the correct level for this area, but the water battles tend to be a little bit more annoying than normal battles in my mind. Another Elu Pyramid. 
I'm fine. Yeah. I don't know what that is. That island. Or continent, I should say. Gonna trigger it yet. Like, might not. Oi. Speed up a little bit. And you're dead. Duplicator. There's a lot of those. I think that this is... Loma? I can still train this on them. Oh, now it triggers? No. No, I'm not quitting. This is one of the things I was looking for. Ah, isolated guild. Nothing. Would you guys like to try my new potion? A gruesome taste and smell spreads through their mouths. So... The, the potion is weird. It has a very high chance of healing everybody. Which is what it did. Um, I'm pretty sure it didn't mess around. Yeah, it doesn't mess around with luck, which is... Well, this is one of the few ways of doing that. But it has a percentage chance of dropping everybody down hit points. I don't remember how much. Anyway, this is the magic guild. You can assemble advanced magic here. Try it. We have ten crest graphs at the moment. And we can also dissolve a lot of the crap, which is what I'm going to be doing. Ah, <sighs> well, let's see. We don't need or want suction. Honestly, there's a lot of these that we don't. I'm going to be dissolving several of these. Awaken's going to stay forever. Um, Valkyrie's going to get dissolved because it's not a very good ability. Especially now that I have advanced magic, there's no reason to use Valkyrie in my mind. Um, silence and the status effects are really terrible. I'm just going to dissolve all of them. Especially Flash. Armor down is actually nice. Slow down can be nice. Confusion is terrible. The spell is not great. Oh. Prison is not a very good one. I'm gonna keep curse just because. Um, hide, as I've proven, does nothing. It might drop the chance of you getting attacked, but it's not dropping it to zero. Shield is kind of worthless, so that's going away. Okay. Then I'm going to reorganize my spells. And actually, I'm going to bind them and then reorganize. So, we have 20 quest, quest graphs of 32 spells total. So there's certain ones that I'm going to be grabbing immediately. So, this one's high shield. So, you'll... The same combinations of runes will give you very similar spells. So, like, for instance, Geo Geo before was shield. This is now high shield. Double attack power, which is awesome. Decreasing random encounter rate. Yep. 
avoiding exhaustion. So this one, when cast on an ally, the next time they get KO'd, they immediately get revived. It's the same effect as the goat doll, only a goat doll doesn't get used up, but this is a really expensive ability. Anti-magic field, we saw us use that in our mystic ability for the armor that's currently equipped. No, it's the armor that Celia used to have equipped. Prevent fatal blows. This will make you immune to instant death. We will be using this, but not right this moment. Bomb counterattack. So what that is, is that if somebody attacks you, you immediately explode something on them. I don't use it very often. I'm going to try it out some a little bit later, but select magic field party. Start using a dummy. This is the one that we want. Work to a known town, also known as teleport. We can now teleport to towns. That was the one that it was like, no, I need to use this and I need to get it now. Lock state is another one that I want right now. We're actually going to need it for the arena for sure. Revive in full HP, so it's a full heal. Recover partial HP already. So this one's going for us right now. They call it Remedy. It's... I'm actually going to call it something else. Because in my mind, Remedy is something else. In my mind, Remedy is a status effect removal, which is right here. This cures all status effects, by the way. Which, yes. Of course I'm going to grab... They call it Restore. Restore is fine. Just Remedy, and I confuse Remedy and Restore because of me playing a lot of Shining Force 2. <laughs> what was the last one in this corner? Recover full HP. So that's a full heal. Really, it's... Yeah, we should grab this. Rudy has enough hit points where full heal's nice. Alright, now let's go look at the black magic ones. So we've got our... Um, the four diagonal going down for the attack spells, which are now group attack, may I note. So earth, fire, wind, water. This is thunder against everything. And this is generic against everything this is holy against a single enemy this is and we need the holy and unholy for sure i'm probably just going to grab all of the attack spells actually so before we were only able to do that using mystic and um whatchamacallit uh mystic and a ring i would like to actually be able to cast them because they are the most effective single target spells in the game for a very long time. This one allows you to absorb MP out of an entire enemy group, which can be really nice. This is the equivalent of Valkyrie. This one only targets a single enemy, which is much better than Valkyrie. Oh, Rainbow. Rainbow is a very nice spell. We'll see a lot of that spell name. This drops all buffs on all enemies, which can be useful in certain battles, but not normally. This absorbs hit points. I don't think it absorbs that much is the problem. This one, on the other hand, is the other one that we needed. This is Lucky Shot. Lucky Shot does a crap amount of damage to a single enemy. Yep. It's utter garbage but it has one effect that the game doesn't tell you about. If you kill an enemy with it, you always get its drop. 100%. So this is how we're going to be legitimately gaining apples and so on. Let's get our additional black magic spells.
Yeah, usually we don't... I mean, I think I've actually gotten every crest graph in the game up to this point. As in... In the inner sea area, I've gotten all of them. There's definitely more crest graphs that we can reach now, but... Now you see why I'm not going to pre-organize the spells yet, because I'm going to be fixing them up. And there's going to be certain spells that I'm going to want at the top, like healing spells, for an example. And teleport and escape. I think teleport is actually the higher level version of escape. But now that we have that, we can now go back to wherever we want. And when we use the teleport ability, the boat follows us, which is really interesting. Alright, we've got five more to play around with. I like using the random magic effect because that's silly, so I'm going to take it. It's not good, but randomizer is the only way at this point of the game that you can get tier 3 magic. Because randomizer is through all magic, not just the magic that you can cast. So sometimes it's way better than other spells. Yes, high shield, thank you. Yes, let's go with double attack power. You know, I never really used Bomb that much. Let's try it. And I will... Now that I have access to this place, I can now do my Let's Analyze of Cecilia's Magic. Uh, it's actually not this specific place. Um, now that I've talked to her, I think that I get advanced everywhere now. I can double check, though. These are the places that we've been to before. Um, let's go back to Adelaide really fast. You'll see boat came with us. And let's check up on Adelaide. Also, we might have finished things for the village. Um, the press graph should have two people. No, it hasn't happened yet. There must be some type of trigger that brings everybody else in. I don't know what that is. Anyway, it doesn't matter. We can just go to the hidden guild anyway. Nope. We still can't donate more money. Okay. That's fine. I don't need to sleep, actually. Yes. There we go. And let's leave and teleport back to Rosetta Town, was it? No, Milma. That was really close to where we were. The only problem is that this costs 12 spell points each time that we cast it. It's kind of expensive at the moment, but, you know, it's nice. Uh, let's quickly rearrange these. So I have a particular order that I like. Heal Aura. Aura... I heal. Escape. Actually, teleport, escape.
protects. Like, I know I got it. Dark High Spark. Light Blow Saint. Dark Blow Darkness. Got Blast and Other Blast. Oh, Blast and High Blast is up there. Okay. Um. The rest of these I don't care as much them that much. We'll go with Rainbow and Randomizer. Armor down. Slow down. That'll work for now. The most thing, uh, mostly what I want is that we the top part organized because this is what I'm going to be going through often. I don't particularly care about the order of these, but I like having the lower and higher version. You notice how much some of these cost spell points wise? We're going to have to start worrying about how many spell points Cecilia has again for a bit. Sucks, but oh well. Not the end of the world. It's a nice problem to have in my mind. I really wish we could sail under the bridges. It doesn't make any sense why we can't. Alright, Jack, you still need to get that. Um, let's show you what Randomizer looks like. So you'll notice Randomizer is kind of expensive, and you notice you don't get to target anything. Yeah, this isn't going to go well. <laughs> let's say, is Jack finally learning his ability? No, no he's not. It's taking a while. Blizzard! Misspelled. So that is the extremely high level version of water magic, which they're immune to. So that would have done a crap ton of damage if they were weak against it. Oh yeah, Rudy still has the spark ring equipped. More randomizer! More brutal attacks. Are you finally using it? No. A high dispel. Okay. A level two spell. I could have grabbed it. It removes all of the positive status effects. Technically, it's positive and negative, but it removes um, all of the buffs and debuffs. I should say, not status effects, of the enemies. And that's gonna kill him. But just in case. Gonna be showing off some of Cecilia's new magic because it's cool. Alright. Um there's an island up to the north, but there's also this over here. It's another isolated guild. Is it like I have to talk to a specific isolated guild to trigger it, maybe? Yep, it's a specific one, and it's this one. I've been living here as a hermit for the last decade, researching the higher forms of magic. Now, I want to share what I've discovered with everyone. I'm thinking of moving my lab to Adelaide. I believe there is no limit to the power of elemental magic. I'm willing to work even harder to prove this. Yep. Adelaide now has a master guild. Yes, I will take the nifty potion. Thank you very much. Really wish I could teleport to the isolated guilds because that would be really handy. Oh yeah, I wanted to do um, radar ping. I don't think there's anything in any of them, but now that I know there is a difference between them.
just an island hanging out that has no way of entering. That's fine. Demon's Lab. One moment. I don't think we can enter there yet, but let's check. I don't want to trigger plot by accident. Nope, I'm triggering plot. We are loading the save state. We'll see more about that later. Jokers. Randomizer! Because why not? Oh yeah, what do stokers actually have? Joker. They actually have something I want. I think. Well, I'm gonna try grabbing it anyway. We'll go with the randomizers anyway, because they're fun. There we go. That's what I wanted. Dark Ray! It's the level 3 dark magic, which they're immune to. You see the problem with randomizer yet? <laughs> but it's fun to see the level, uh, the level 3 spells that I will never get. And I do mean that. You can... There are ways of casting level 3 magic, but they're funky and hard to do. Like, you have to use force points to do it. Ow! That hurt! Just for that, take a bunch of question marks. Or, uh... Punch in the face. Here still. Aura. Bing. So we were, we're going to be seeing Cecilia cast Aura quite a bit. Also, this is the best healing spell in the game. Um, other than Heal Blade. It's expensive, but it's worth it as long as I think it's two people need healing. Oh, that was worth a lot of money, actually. Um... Nope. It's worth it in combat. It's not worth it out of combat. That's what it was. Alright, so that's Demon's Lab. So the world is a um, toroidal shape. Oh, this is back in Artica. Drum Drake. That's actually one of the ones I was trying to trickster. Let's try getting it. Finally getting the item that it's holding, which is a spark ring for reference. Purple electric. Revised! into spark. That's actually helpful right now. Um, Trickster. By the way, how many hit points do you actually have? Uh, maybe I shouldn't have put analysis down that low. Analyze! Level 30 has 954 more hit points. I'm so surprised Rudy's even taking damage. He, sh he should be immune to this from wearing the spark ring. Huh. Oh. Protect. He protect. Steal. This is going to be another one of those long games, isn't it? On the plus side, I can no longer deal at damage. Oops. No, not that. That. All I have to do is monitor my own hit points, and I'll be fine. Ugh. Should have been paying attention how much damage I was dealing, because I can, um, whatchamacallit, uh, 
turn it into a spark ring. Uh, it will drop a spark ring, I should say. Anyway, that's Artica. We've been there. We need to go to the islands in the north anyway. Because they actually have some interesting things here. In very hidden locations. Thirties! Thirties have. That'd be the type of thing I would expect to have an ice ring. Thirty. Aqua ring! Yep. Uh, I don't actually need an aqua ring anymore. Randomizer! Because I can. Did you finally get it? No. Gaia Crash! The tier 3 earth magic. Notice how much damage it dealt. They weren't weak against it. Yeah. Randomizer is freaking awesome when it works. I have 90 money. And their random drops magic carrot. Which is nice because, oh boy, am I spending all of Cecilia's 12 points. No ravine. White of snow covers and cleanses the evil. My power of snow. I will provide it to you, sorceress and warriors. You wish to cleanse Volgaia. Nice rune acquired. So there's a handful of these which just give you a rune. There's nothing else here. And I think this rune might actually be for Cecilia. No, it's definitely not. It's either for Rudy or for Jack. It's for Jack. Although, I'm going to give it to Rudy because poor Rudy has not had an upgrade in so long. I think there's two things on this island. It's a different island, okay. Is there a second island? I'm not seeing one. I thought there was a second thing. Oh well. Will you finally learn your damn ability? which I cast on myself. And now I'm not getting any XP from anything. Ah. Ah, that's the downside of Randomizer. Although it's still funny to use. Please just learn your ability. <laughs> Not learning his ability. Boy. The toy hammer, so I can hear this. Even my status restore spell is only one target. It's the level, tier 3 version that's two target, which you can't ever learn. I don't even know if there is a tier 3 version as a result. The reason why I'm spending so much magic is that I'm, I can heal it pretty much any time now. Because I could just teleport back to Adelaide and be done with it. So I'm not too concerned about the magic that I'm spending while I'm just goofing off like this. I'm not planning on going anywhere for a while. Um, when I go to the arena, I'll probably walk in, walk out, and... Yep, can't go any further. Um, walk in, walk out, and probably just... I don't know. Uh, teleport back to Adelaide, heal, and go. Actually, no. Teleport back to Milma. That might be a better plan. Where am I at? Oh, I'm off the edge of the map. Cool. These are the islands I wanted to look at. 
Some of these islands have some really weird random encounters on them, by the way. This is not one of them. I don't think prisoners have anything useful. They have antidotes. I think I'm actually close to the arena. Going for half an hour and I've done basically nothing. Great. Or uh punch in the face. They're higher level, so this might hurt a lot. Okay, not that much. Still haven't learned your damn ability. Oh yeah, or Aura also heals less. Cut down. Uh that did no. Please just learn your damn ability already. Um, because it's fun, randomizer. Glow Blast! It's the um, tier 3 saint. Did you see that? To be fair, they are weak against holy, but um that was a full 9999 damage. More prisoners. So, for a frame of reference, I'll saint one of them so you can see what the tier 2 version is from Cecilia. I mean, it's a lot of damage, don't get me wrong, but um, Randomizer just did triple the amount of damage that I could do, and it would have hit everybody. Cut down, don't get there. Uh, please just trigger that stupid thing already. Oh, let's do more randomizer, because it's fun to see what types of spells I'll never end up getting. I wish I knew what the full pool of spells were for randomizer. I if I can find that anywhere. Anyway, this island also appears to have a jack and squat on it. Did I land a maybe? Second, the third... Not seeing any zoom in effects, so I'm gonna guess no. Prisoner battle? Nope! Alright! So, it's time for me to introduce you these enemies. They're space aliens. Just wanna throw that out there. Um, I'm really low level for doing this. Yes, I am lucky carding a random battle. You'll understand why really fast. All right, down here, lock state, because if I remember right, they have status effects out the wazoo. Um, oh. Rudy, you need better equipment. I think... Yeah, there it is. Okay, anyway, you're going to lucky card. You're going to lock state. I'm gonna punch one in the face. Hopefully I'm faster than them. Okay. <clears throat> they hurt, by the way. You couldn't tell by the fact that I took nearly a thousand damage in one hit. Luckily they don't hit very often. Okay, um... I think... I think I can trickster them for something awesome. Yeah, I don't need to trickster them, though. Uh, this is the point in the game that you actually can accumulate as many duplicators as you want, because that's what they drop, and that's also what that you can steal from them. That's nice. That's Aura. Actually, no. Jack, you're going to Accelerator Heal Blade yourself. Um, let's analyze. I actually don't remember how nasty they are. An arm lock on 
twin orbs. Let's go. These are basically bosses for us. They have gobs of hit points, if I remember right. But a heal blade will heal Jack more than Cora will right now. Hayao Kontan, level 1. 28,000 hit points, 500 MP, no weaknesses. Luckily, they're not attacking with magic yet. That nearly took out Cecilia. The second hit might actually do that. That was a nice hit. Ow. I might not actually be high enough level to do this yet. Cecilia lives. Cecilia is more important than Jack right now because, well, Cecilia has aura. Aura is the only way we can survive this. And Cecilia also has high shield, which I'm going to start bumping up once I can survive long enough. Okay. I can survive another hit on both of them, I think. Well, I can definitely survive it on Rudy. I'm gonna heal Cecilia. You're going to high shield now. You're gonna lock on with heroes. Probably use Protector now that I'm thinking about it. Yeah, this is gonna be a long enough battle. I'll save it up. Okay, so that should full heal Cecilia. My shield will help. I was being dealt 777 damage. Now I'm taking 694. Direct voice. Yeah. Yeah. No status effects. Suck it. <laughs> Alright. Rudy needs a heal blade. Cecilia needs better magic. <laughs> Kidding, but only partially. Um, actually, let's go ahead and summon Guardian. We haven't seen hers. And protect. Oh, I should have equipped the other... Human experimentation. This is the one that status effects everything to hell and back. Still got hit? But I had status lock up. Status lock not work or does it expire? It might expire. Yeah, Jack might be dead. Didn't take much damage, but poison might kill him. Crap tons of damage to everybody. Jack's down. Yep, I can satisfy remove his dead body. Rudy's down. Oh, no, Rudy's at 68 hit points. And Rudy heals Jack's dead body. Welp. I think I can get my way out of this. <sighs> but it depends on what they do. And what order it happens in. The Jack will live. That's guaranteed. Okay. Rudy's gonna be knocked out, but that's fine. Rudy's knocked out right now. And Cecilia's knocked out. Damn it! That's what I was hoping not to have happen. But let's see if we can make this work. Um. So, assuming that they're doing those two actions still.
Do I have Ambrosia? I thought I had one Ambrosia. I thought maybe that was from the uh, St. Centaur incident. Hold on a moment, I need to respond to this next message. If I can get both Jack and Cecilia alive, I can do this. Waste of a Mega Berry, but that's fine. Rudy's down. I think Cecilia might be down too. Yes, okay, Cecilia's alive. I can make this work. Man, I wish I had a better Summon Guardian for her right now. Cillian needs to go before them. That's it. That's all that's required. I should be passable at this point, assuming they don't both attack Cecilia. Voice. And do a lot of damage to everybody. I think Cecilia will survive this and I'll be fine. Except that... Oh, that's not good. I'm sure I'm screwed. using all of my potion berries on this, but it'll be worth it. Assuming I actually live. So what I'm basically doing is that I'm intentionally just sitting around and healing until everybody goes condition green. Do that. I actually don't need healing this round. Could cure Rudy's status effect. Huh. Probably worth doing. I'm thinking about it. Yeah, that's the right one. No, oh, and Rudy went condition green. Oh well. Thousand. Cecilia will be fine, Jack will be fine, Rudy might still be screwed. By the way, these are one of the hardest enemies in the game. Okay. I can live through that. Rudy... And Rudy just went out. Jack just went commission green. I think he's able to still pull this off. Gonna have to use some revive fruit to make this work, though. 
basically barely keeping my head above water. And direct voice. This might just screw me over. Yep. I'm doomed. Because Jack's already hit condition green and got freaked confused. Wanna jump up here and say hi to the people? Yeah, unfortunately, it's a little too close. Okay. Why did I hit attack? That doesn't help me. I was going to run away. I don't even need to run away. Jack's down. Celia does nothing, just hit condition green. And is basically screwed at this point. I'm trying my hardest. I also have Kitty right here who's trying to interfere with things. Yep, Cecilia's down. Jack gets biffed in the face for a lot. We'll revive Cecilia. No. Revive Fruit Cecilia. We're 20 teeny. Yep. Not that it matters. Yep. And Cecilia goes down again. And Jack's dead. Easier if Judy, Rudy was the one that was down, not Jack. All right, and I believe before we fix this by doing that, it's a horrible waste, but whatever. That kills Rudy. Rudy, Mystic, Potionberry, yes. Which this caused confusion for the folks on the sides. Yep. Which at this point, I'm basically just Mystic Potion burying my way out of this. I can make this work, it's just not easy. the point that I messed up before, so I'm going to save state again. Yeah, I'm totally using save state manipulation. Don't care. I am way lower level than I should be for fighting these guys. Um, okay. I know Rudy is going to hit things this turn. Go blade Rudy. That is locked. I think I'm going to hit that early enough where I'll be fine. That should provide at least a couple of rounds of immunity to status effects. I hope. So this direct voice should not inflict any status effects. It didn't. Good. Let's make a save. Hardest boss of the game yet. Okay. We need to start getting damage on these folk. 
Isun needs to be continuing to be cute in my lap. Unfortunately, I can't point the camera at Isun in this angle very easily. So you're getting Maya again. Um... Actually, no. You're going to Mystic Potion Berry. It's going to be too much longer before I can just buy Potion Berries. Um, you're going to Protect. Vision to do a couple of grand of damage. Good job hitting Rudy. As long as Cecilia goes now, I'm fine, which I am. finally settling. In experimentation, the status lock should still be active, so this should do nothing. Good. So at least last three, uh, at least last two rounds. Okay. Divide shot's actually ideal for this now that I think about it. Stats lock should be good for at least three rounds. Nope, it's two rounds. Good to know. Divide shot will have their HP, which they're still over 10 grand remaining. That's good to know. You can human experiment on Rudy all you want. Oh no, you also made him flashed. Jack's my damage dealer right now. But I need to heal Blade Rudy. Fuck state. Alright, oh, Rudy can't heal, he's diseased. That work? That's right, I forgot. He'll play through his test effects. We're good. Okay, that was good timing then. Okay, so this should last another two rounds. Human experimentation's worthless, thank you very much. Wide shot's still more damage than anything else. We're going to Mystic Potion Berry just in case. You're gonna lock on Twin Orb. Be much easier once we're down. Okay, it has four, three, four, two hit points remaining. We can get through this. In fact, we're probably going to get through it next round. You know, all the people. That was not enough damage. Ah. <sighs> Vision. Rainbow. Rocket launcher. That should kill the one on the right. Then I'll deal with recovery afterward. So that's rainbow. Hits him with every stat. That didn't do that much damage, but okay expected, you know, an extra digit onto that. Alright. We're now in the easily manageable range. Good. Um, you are going to Divide Shot. You are going to Mystic. No, you are not going to do that. Actually, yes. I want you to use Mystic just in case. Um, which is the one that I had for Lock State? Uh, Mystic Lock State. White Room. Rudy. Lock 
found rocket launcher. Okay, so we'll still do 9999 again. We're paying attention until it stops doing 999. 999 damage. Lock state. I'm gonna try to maintain that every three rounds. I'm starting to remember how to fight these folks again. Well, I've used up so many items at this point. Silly and it's healing. That's fine. Blade Cecilia. You know what? Let's high shield everybody. Yes, we can. Actually, no. Let's hyper Rudy. Rudy, lock on. Should be mostly healed at this point. Hyper Rudy. Healing status sound activated. Locked on. Rocket launcher while hyper. That should do more damage. Why do you are dodgy shot? Going to side shot. We're going to Mystic Potion Berry just because. And we're going to lock on at Rocket Launcher. Alright, are you below 9999 yet? I think you should be now. Yep, okay, so you've got about 6,000 hit points remaining. Really, you can actually survive another hit. Kind of surprising. I'm going to divide shot again. Yeah, that should do more damage. I actually don't need to miss. That's the weird thing. Um, down? Sure, why not? And rocket launcher. I am totally going to need to teleport after this in here. Okay, I should do about 3,000? 2,000? Yeah. Alright, I think it's going to die from 3D's turn. And then you will see why I went through so much effort on these guys. Okay. Did it. 80,000 XP gained. Ah, everybody leveled up, and 60,000 Gela. Yeah, we aren't supposed to be able to fight these folks. Just saying. We are now level 33 through 35. Um, we're going to GTFO right now. You'll notice that Adelaide will be my place of choice for a while. Just showing. We have both crest craft locations here now. More importantly, actually, I probably should have gone to Milma for this so I don't have to redo my uh, small flowers. Ooh, all the way down to bad luck. But, eh, it's fine. Alright, just how much did we level up? I think twice is my guess. Nope, we leveled up a lot more than twice. <laughs> Keep in mind, we barely had any combat. We leveled up three times from one combat. See now why I decided to go for it? I'm not going to be doing that again for a while. Anyway, I hope you've enjoyed this internet. 
and we'll talk to you next time. Maybe next time I'll actually find something useful.